Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And a while ago I did a, a quick kind of review of this Ace Meter uh, digital caliper that uh, QFun sent. And QFun is an Amazon storefront that deals with kind of precision tools. And this guy was great, real accurate it seemed. It does have uh, millimeters and inches. And one of the things that I had pointed out in my review um, was I compared it head to head with this general here and the general notice it doesn't turn on that's something I liked about this one uh, but the general has fractions of an inch check that out that's just so interesting to me measuring I mean fractions are like a novelty but kind of interesting um, and this didn't have fractions. Well, QFun sent me this updated version, and it is really nice, and it's updated in several ways. One, you can see the screen size is a lot bigger, um, bright color, uh, but it also has fractions. So I've got inches in decimal, inches in fractions, and millimeters. So let me show you the inches in, in fractions. If I start rolling this thing out, look at that. You probably caught that. I can go in fractions to 128th of an inch. So I've got three 128ths. Uh, I think that's just outrageous. But anyway, another uh, thing that came up is some commenters said, well, how do I know this thing's accurate? Um, and that's a great question. So I thought I'd test it out on a few things. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it on and make sure it's zeroed. Um, and I'll use this. Here's my, my Starrett feeler gauge set. And I've pulled out the quarter, or the, the, the 25 thousandths, excuse me, right here. So now let's actually, let me switch that to decimal for inches. Make sure it's zeroed. So now let's try it. So I slide it on. And what do I get? 25.0. It's hard when you move it around. Um, see if I can see that. I'm sure you saw it. 25.0. Right there, dead on. Um, so I pulled out my Mac here, made in USA, Mac tools. Um, and let's see, what do I have out? How about, what do we got here? We have got the 0 0.015. You can see that. So let's try it, zero it out again. And what do I have here? Give me, I'm twisting this. Hold it a little differently here. Trying to measure that. Okay, there's 0.155. Try it again. 0 0.150, I think I did a little bent. So dead on on that measurement. Anyway, uh, nice update. Um, I can only believe that they listened to me that they thought that uh, fractions would be an easy thing to add. I mean, once you're dealing with that level of precision, all it is is putting in the programming into the, into the chip. Um, it's steel. It looks very much the same on the back side. You can see um, the same CR123 battery, or ex not, excuse me, I've been doing flashlights. Uh, it's the CR2032, I believe. I put a new one in, yeah, the 2032, this is an Energizer. It came with one of the kind of probably more demo type batteries. Usually with a lot of battery tools, I switch it out right away. Um, and you can see I've got a little place for my fingernail right there. On this one, you kind of had to pry it out from the side, so they've updated that. You know, and this has all happened in a few months, which is pretty amazing that they came out with this new one. Um, if you're trying to read it, uh, using the scale, let me line it up here, one centimeter, so, um, right there, it's designed to be digital, but this gives you an idea, and then it has an inch scale across the top, so two centimeters. Um, it's not designed to be precision there, it's designed to be precision here, so if I line up what I think is 20, about right there, just eyeballing it. So not too bad. Um, fun game for the whole family. And my zero's off. But anyway, so I thought I'd bring that to your attention. Comes with a nice plastic case, a uh, little towel, or a little 
kind of a microfiber and instructions. Um, anyway, Q Fun um, is a great place to, to get these. They're not that expensive. Um, and uh, the more I use this one and the, you know, the, it's a solid design. And then to have it even better and bigger and brighter and you know everything, um, I'm impressed. And thank you Q Fun for sending this and for updating it. Um, you know, maybe others said that same stuff about the uh, fractions. Um, but I think it is pretty cool, especially out to 128, 128ths of an inch. Um, pretty neat. Anyway, with that, Doc out.